Hi guys, how's everybody doing? If you're new, welcome to the channel. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're notified, notified, notified of all videos that I upload. If you're already a subscriber, hi, how are you? Everybody leave a comment down below. Let me know what's going on. Um, I know that it's been a while since I've been on. I'm so sorry. Um, I was really dealing with some health issues. I mean, as you can still see, I'm still really swollen right there. Um, it's not as painful, but um, I just wanted to get something new out to you guys. That's why I made sure that I got that video out, letting everybody know what was going on. I did not want you guys to think that I have forgotten about you guys or that I have like abandoned my channel or something. But let me tell you, if you've ever had a toothache, you know what I was going through. So it was so rough, so rough. Oh my God, I just couldn't handle. I was like, I cried for like two days straight. It was really bad. But um, Tim took good care of me. He took care of the kids while I just, after I got him from work, I would just sleep. Don't mind my wig. Tim hates that wig. But um, yeah so it, it just it was so bad right now i'm getting ready and um i have to have timmy to the doctor by four. Oh, so i figured i would do a quick little get ready with me um my phone is still only recording like 30 minute videos so i figured it'll be perfect because i have to kind of rush myself and when i don't have to rush and i take my time i like to talk to you guys so yeah, um, I'm still dealing with the whole phone, uh, slash, um, the phone, slash, video camera, slash, laptop thing. Like I said, I got the laptop, but then the problem from there was that when I tried to record on the laptop, Oh, it did some crazy stuff and it just was so blurry. I haven't tried this Nexus Clean and Pure Dry Shampoo yet. I got it and something. My hair is not greasy. I know it probably looks greasy on camera, but it's kind of wet because I was just in the shower right before I started filming this. I have the, um, Not Your Mother's dry shampoo, but, um, <coughs> I need to re-dye my hair, that pink and that blue, so badly. Um, I was saying, I have the Not Your Mother's, um, dry shampoo, and I see, like, people ranting and raving about it. But for me, it was not good. It um, it made my hair feel very nasty, and um, it just like whenever I would like, it would make my head itch, and then whenever I would scratch it, like white dust would come out of it. So it was just really bad for my hair. So whenever I'm like kind of in a rush, ow, I kind of just do something like this. I'm not going to throw my wig on today. I was going to, and Tim's like, don't lose that damn wig. So I was like, okay, fine. I guess I'll just do my hair differently. He likes my hair down and I have extensions but right now they're not color matched to my mess of a hair my um, salon guy that does my hair um, he's been like flighty lately so I can't seem to like get a good hold of him and I messaged him the other day and I was like hey like we really need to get together like my roots are like dark dark brown half of my hair is green and it was originally blue i had done it blue and like there's no pink left it's like a greenish blondish like yucky brassy color so hopefully 
he will get back with me soon and we'll get this taken care of because I just cannot keep having my hair looking crazy like this and I personally do not like to do it myself because um god I'm gonna spend the whole time doing my hair because when I bleach my hair and it's not um, good products I have a tendency to get a burnt scalp I was thinking about reshaving my hair right here it's now this this long what do you guys think about that about reshaving the side of my hair thoughts opinions like in a way I don't want to because it's finally you know grown back and soon I'll be able to like put it in a ponytail and stuff to keep it out of my face right now I have to put like a bunch of mousse and stuff and when it first starts growing back oh my god it is so awkward it's like in a really bad spot when it first starts growing back like it's very unmanageable there's just nothing to do with it it just gets in the absolute way so but at the same time like in the summer it feels so nice so just let me know what you guys think. I always like to get opinions. Now, where did my hair tie just go? In front of my face. Yeah, um, but I just, I like getting the opinions and stuff like that. Letting me know how it, what you think about everything. So let me know. Anyway, so I'm going to go and take that foundation back to Ulta tomorrow, the one that I tried out. Oh, you guys didn't see the video yet. I'm so sorry. Everything going on with my tooth, I didn't even get the video up yet. I have a video recorded for you guys, and like I said, it split it into two. Dang, I'm going to have to get that up. I wonder if that's going to cut this video short. I didn't even think about it. Dang. If this video ends up getting cut, I will finish it on like another time, probably, unless it doesn't let me do that. So, I will do my best. Um, but I had gotten this foundation from Ulta, the Revolution, um, Revolution Conceal and Define, this bad boy. Number one, the shade that I got was so white. It was bad. It was bad white. Like, I know I'm, like, really light skinned, but oh my god. It was way too fair for me. I looked like Casper the Ghost. Um, so, and also, um, when I, when I put that video up, you'll see, honestly, it just wasn't really a good foundation for me anyway. because it, um, it ended up being very white on my skin, or no, I already said that part, it, um, it ended up breaking up very, very badly on my skin, so, we know that that's just not a good shade match for Angel, it's my own fault, when I went into Ulta, I should have asked the lady to help me, and I didn't, because for some reason, I don't know why, I just don't like when people are like following me all around and helping me in the store. I feel like they're gonna try to sell me something. <laughs> and I don't wanna be sold anything. So then I just kinda, you know, be in my own way. So, um, I have been watching a lot of videos because I got some bronzer and I was just thinking to myself and I was like, you know, what's the difference between bronzer and contour? You know, I've told you guys that I'm not like a really great person at knowing and things like that, you know, but I wanted to get better and learn things like that. So I um, started looking into it more, stuff like that. And um, I started learning, you know, the bronzer is, um, on top of the cheekbones and that the contour is underneath of the cheekbones so I think I'm starting to get the hang of 
learning where these things go. So I'm hoping that soon I want to get a whole video up for you guys. The only thing is I know it's going to be like an hour long video. I mean let me know. Are you guys okay with that? Until I can get this whole um editing thing figured out. Like how long do you guys like the videos to be? Like what's your sweet spot? Like what's a good time for you that you would like to sit down and chit chat and watch a video? Some people, like me, when I watch videos like this, like, I don't like quickie little five, ten minute ones. I like where actually, you know, they sit down and they talk to me, you know. I don't mind watching an hour long video because I'll watch it, I like it being in detail, you know. And then, um, also, another reason is, like, I can watch it, I can speed, I just speed it up on YouTube to where I can still hear what the person's saying. But, you know, they're moving just a little bit quicker. I usually speed it up to like 1.25 or 1.5. Um, so, it's not too bad. I'm starting to think that like even this, like maybe my problem is that this foundations that I'm choosing are like my summer shade or my winter shade or something. Because it's like even this one looks a little bit white on me right now. And I mean, there's just no way, because this has always been, like, the perfect foundation for me. So, it's not like it could have just today decided to stop. Oh, you know what I was thinking about doing? Um, real quick, I was thinking about, oh, you know, before I tell you that, real quick, um, I have been collecting things for the giveaway. I'm so excited. Um, I cannot wait for it to, you know, to pick a winner. I'm so excited. Because I know that whoever wins it is going to be, like, happy. Well, I hope they're happy anyway. Because I'm feeling, like, super duper proud about it. And, um... Okay, so what I was going to say was, so that revolution um, consi con define and conceal that I got, you know, I got it because the price point was so good, you know. Like, I don't know how you guys feel about me trying out more expensive things. Like, I just, you know, I lost my MAC foundation because I wasn't using it because I didn't know how you guys would feel about it. So now it's gone. It's lost. And I actually got shade matched for that. Well, like, I didn't want to use something that might make you guys feel uncomfortable. I just, that's just not who I am. It's not how I am. You know, I don't want you guys to feel any type of ways. Um, you know. But, so. So now it's, it's lost. I don't know what I did with it. No! Um, uh, ah, everything's falling on me. Hi, hi, hi. So, um, let me know in the comments, you know, how you guys feel about, you know, different products. Just let me know, like, because I just don't want to use something that you guys, you know, feel like you wouldn't want to see. So, just... Please just let me know. Um, cause everything like, the, you know, the, I wouldn't even start this if it wasn't for you guys. I was, um, talking, which one do I want to tell you guys first? Okay, um, okay, I guess I'll tell you guys this because it's only going to be a quick little tell you about it. I'm not going to get like all the way into this because... <clears throat> Like, it's still, like, a thinking kind of thing. I'm going to go ahead and use the Conceal and Define um, concealer. I just want to give it another try and just see how it works. I know the foundation was too light, but I don't know about the concealer because I used it with the wrong foundation. I am loving this little light, though. Um, okay. So, I was talking to my counselor the other day. And 
I was telling her, you know, about, like, you know, my love for makeup, that, you know, I've just started a YouTube channel, that, um, you know, that I, uh, that I just love beauty and I love making people feel beautiful and, you know, that, so anyway, so we were just talking and I was telling her that, um, you know, I have this, like, super big goal of, like, spreading makeup around the world to people that need it. And, I, okay, so here's what I was kind of thinking. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet or anything, so it's just the beginning thought. Please don't steal my idea. Like, this is mine. Like, I would like to... Oh, man. No, I'm scared to tell anybody. No, I'm just kidding. I trust you guys. Um, and if not, I'll just show the people this video that it was my fault first. Anyway. Like, you know, like, how people give homeless people, like, bags and stuff like that. I've been homeless. Like, I know what it's like. You know, me and Tim were homeless for two years. Well, I was thinking, like, you know, when I was looking for a job, like, I didn't have makeup. Like... You know, and when you're a woman and, like, you're in a bad spot in your life, like, confidence is really important. And nobody really thinks about that. A lot of people think that makeup is, like, not a necessity, that it's just a want, you know. And that, oh, you don't need that, you don't need that. Well, you know, to us, maybe we do need it. Like, for me, if I go into a job interview with makeup on, I'm going to feel, you know, ten times more, um confident if I have a little bit of makeup on so like my idea is like to go to like places like social service offices and things like that and like women that are in, in like job programs and stuff oh my dad's calling and I cannot answer it hold on a minute I'll call him in a few minutes because I literally only have a few minutes to finish getting ready um, so anyway, alright, so because I gotta quicken this up a lot, because I gotta go in like 10 minutes, I gotta be rolling out of here. Anyway, alright, so here's the thing. Like, my little goal is this. I would like to go to these, like, little places, and I would really like to... Yo! Can you hand me that, baby? Oh my gosh. I would like, just sit it up there, boo-boo. Here, give it to mama. Thank you, baby, y'all. Thank you, love. Thank you, good girl. Thank you. All right, go eat your chippies. We're getting ready to leave. Okay, so my thing is this. I would like to, you know, make little bags with maybe um, some like a little four a little four quad eyeshadow palette um like maybe a little liquid lipstick or a or a regular lipstick whatever just a lipstick really and then like a um like a little blush so like you know just the things that you basically need to do like just a little simple makeup look so I would like to make bags for women that are looking for jobs and stuff. I mean, I'm sure, maybe, I mean, men too, but I mean, I doubt that men are likely to be, you know, going to places like that to get makeup. That's why I said women. But, um, just, I would love to just spread my love for makeup. And I just think it would be so super awesome. But, um, so put in there, um, like a little four quad eyeshadow, as I was saying. So a four quad eyeshadow, maybe a, a little light sheer blush slash like a little duo contour blush palette thing. And then, um, maybe a lipstick. And then there was one other thing that I had said, and I don't remember what it is now, but, and then like for the little daughters do like a little lip gloss 
in like a, you know, just something little, just something just to make them feel pretty. That way, oh, it was like an eyeliner and a mascara. That's what I was going to say. Just to, you know, make it nice. What, Sean? Mm -hmm. I don't care. Do you go check the mail, please? I know Anthony's out there, but it'll just make me feel better. Because my skincare box is supposed to be here today. Alright, I don't have time to sit here and contour, so I'm just going to go ahead and bronze my face a little bit because I literally got to get ready to go. So I'm just going to take this fluffy brush, smear it all around in here, even though that's what I was told not to do, but I'm living my own life. So I was told that then you just do this. And you just warm your face up. So anyway, that's just my little thing. Like I said, I'm not exactly sure what will be in them or anything like that. What, baby? Sean, please give her something. But, um, I just, I don't know. I, I've told you guys before how much I love makeup and how much it means to me to spread my love for beauty um, around the world. So, that's my little goal. I don't know why that side of my face always looks darker to you guys. Because the other day when I made that video, um, like everything looked so dark and horrible. And then when I went in there to Tim and I was like, my makeup looks so bad. And he's like, baby, no it doesn't. And I'm like, yeah it does. It's all one color on one side and not on the other side. See, I'm gonna put some light over there. And he's like, baby, it looks fine. And I'm like, no, oh, it doesn't, it's so dark. It did look dark. It looks dark right now, but it's not. And I have a habit of like overdoing it because of that. Because sometimes like this side looks so light on here, you know, I'll end up making it so dark to try to match that side. But so that's what I was told you do with bronze. It was just to like bronze up the face, brighten it up. Like where the sun would hit your face at. I don't know. I lock it. Because you guys know I'm not the best at contouring yet, hands down. Oh, I need a quick little blush. Oh, shit. Oh, no. You know what? We will go in with this little Profusions palette. And we're just going to grab a blush right out of here. Dang it. Quick drop this stuff, Angel. Um, for blush brush. Um. Maybe we'll just try this one. Not good for blush. Maybe this one's less fluffy, but it is fluffy. Why is this not working? Because I don't have another blush palette. Well, it's not it. I'm in a rush. Oh yeah? yeah. For your birthday. Sean, go in my makeup drawer in my room. Oh, there's no mail. Okay. The one closest this way, and there's a in this middle or the bottom drawer, there's a round circle brown palette. It looks like this, but it's brown. And it's, it doesn't have anything really on the top. You feel where? In my second drawer down, the one closest to the, the door, my plastic drawers.
so I've been learning not to like swipe so much and you know tap a little bit. Dang it, I just gotta quickly throw some eyeshadow on while I'm waiting for him to do that. Oh no, where's my shadow brush? Here's what we're gonna do. You gotta help me out here. Is this it? No, it's circle and brown. That's not neither one, buddy. Hit him up. It's on the second one, though. Any, any, uh... I said, or the bottom, though. The I said bottom. I wasn't sure. The bottom or the top? Yeah, Alright, um... I'm gonna use a blue, so we're gonna go in with... This joy shade. Be late. We'll just throw some brown up in the crease, a little bit of bold. Yep. Thank you, buddy. Tell Anthony we're getting ready to roll out. All of us? All of us? No. Am I staying? Yeah. You have to, yeah, you have to watch for the mail. Tell Anthony I'm about to come out there and we gotta, we gotta run. in anybody's ear that was a total accident I did not mean that all right that looks pretty good and then we're just gonna take a little bit of this blue Eyeshadow for the day. And can you make sure that she has a bottle and everything so we're ready to go? That definitely has a lot of fallout because of what it is. I don't know what I was thinking, not leaving some powder down there. <sighs> All right. What do we think? It's one of my better looks, huh? Getting better. Getting better, ladies. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to go a little more proud. 
Not purple though. Anthony, please don't yell at him. I'm waiting for my skincare box. It will be here today at any time. And then my boxy charm. It says we'll be here Saturday. So I will make a video on that because I haven't seen a bunch of videos already this month. If there's a bunch of videos this like that month, I won't do it because it's stupid. Um, but like this month, I haven't seen a ton so far, so. Keys in. That way, in a minute, you can get ready to start taking them out. Him out here. Ow. Oh. You put them out by myself. Oh, I'm sure she'll walk out with you, but she'll get in her seat herself. No. no. But we're just literally getting ready to walk out the door. Go see what he's getting nasty about. <laughs> what was that about? Yeah, we're going to go bye byes. This is the tart blush. And I love it. Alright guys, the only thing I have left is for today, because I'm just out of time, I'm going to throw on my Artist Couture Highlighter. Where's my brush? There she is. It's just a tittle bit too much. Whoopsie daisies. <sighs> Maybe not too bad. Some people may not like the way I highlight, but this is me learning, and this is the way that I like to do it. Mm -mm, and I'm learning, and I think I'm doing pretty good. For my very first makeup look to where I'm at now, like, um, with the bronzing and whatnot. Honestly, like, I have come so far because I didn't, I mean, even you guys know that I, I don't know much about the bronzing slash contouring very much. I've told you guys before, when I did makeup, it wasn't a thing.
Or then again, if it was a thing, I just didn't know about it. Oh, real quick before I get off of here. What I was going to say, though, when I was asking about the luxury brands and the affordable brands and whatnot, what I was wondering was, I was the reason I got that Revolution made um, foundation is because it was affordable. Like, it was on sale and it was cheap and it was at Ulta. Oh, man, I just got it under my eye. Oh, well. It'd be all right. But my thing I was going to ask is this. Um, like, I was thinking about doing, um, getting, I was thinking about getting, um, some foundation from, um, ColourPop. Because theirs is pretty affordable, too. But, um, like, what's your guys' like, price thing? Like, when is it no longer affordable to you? Is it $5 foundation? Is it $10 foundation? Is it $20 foundation? $30 foundation? $50 foundation? Like, to you, what's, like, the cutoff to where you start thinking that, okay, that's crazy for a foundation? Like, to me, I, personally, I think that $20 is too expensive for foundation. Alright, lip, I'm just going to throw some of this lip stuff on, and then I'm, I gotta run with my little ones. Um, but yeah, personally, to me, I think that, uh, you know, $20 is too much for foundation. this one which is family jewels I don't even know if it matches at this point I don't care because I gotta go I'm not even putting lashes on I need I really really want to get a little beauty area set up because this bathroom just is not cutting it I'll tell you guys real quick, but I tell you in my other video, I usually like, if I'm in a rush, I don't worry about my brows. Like, if there's something that I could go without doing, it's, but the other day, I was trying to trim them, and all I do is use this little razor thing, and when I did... I chopped part of it right off. All right. So I'm missing part of my brow right there. Are you coming? I'll get you in the car. All right. Where am I gonna sit? I'm gonna move that out of the front seat for you.
Alright loves, I've got to go. I'm running late. Um, because I wanted to get this done for you guys. Here's the final look. I hope you guys like it. I hope you enjoyed spending time with me. Mm, let me do this. Probably way too much. Sometimes I feel like, oh yeah, mm, it'll dry as I'm walking. Sometimes I feel like when people put too much, um, what's that stuff called? The, uh, I'm going to bring this lip gloss with me just because. And my makeup wipes. My daughter's pacifier. <laughs> my son's shoes. Sorry, you guys are getting like close ups of everything. Alright, let's. Okay, so. Showing the Obama phones in the bathroom. We gotta go. I love you. Please listen for my package. It's gonna be a box, a beauty skincare box. What? I got to go. What do you need, buddy? What? What? I don't, I don't know. Call me a little bit. Okay, so this is outside. Alright, so. Anyway, I'm on the way to the doctor with my son. Everybody remember, celebrate yourself today. Tomorrow, all day, every day. And, oh, look. My books. Thank you. You too, honey. Run, buddy. Run, run, run. I got to go. Look. You guys see it here first. Boxy Charm skincare box. Um, I will unbox that when I get home, but for now, I got to go. Remember, celebrate yourself today, tomorrow, all day, every day. I love you guys so, so much. Have a wonderful day. And I will get this video up for you guys. And I will get the skincare box unboxed for you as soon as I get home. Yay! Bye, guys.